we eight billion human beings, four billion smart human beings sitting on the smartphones and the internet are unable to have a conversation with only 18 million human beings, our fellow human beings? Can't we talk to them? Can't we ask them what is exactly going on? Can't we become the bridge makers between the two countries? Can't we try to communicate with these people? Would they go and bomb us over Facebook? Would they go and bomb us over Twitter and LinkedIn or WhatsApp? Hello everyone, uh, my name is Rehan. it means basil, it means basil in Arabic, it also means basil in Hebrew. Every time when we hear the word Israel and Palestine, we hear the second thing, there's a war, there is a conflict, we don't hear the songs of love, we don't hear, the, we only hear the sounds of, sounds and songs of conflict. This week again, Israel and Palestine are fighting each other and a lot of people are very upset a lot of people are very sad a lot of people including myself I'm very sad to see humans the best creation of God who both on both sides Jews and Muslims who follow the exact same God Allah Aliyahu are fighting each other over a small piece of land, over, over a small piece of ideology, over a small piece of conflict, which humans who have reached to the moon, who are trying to go to Mars, are unable to solve this small little conflict. I think it's a big conflict, but I think at the same time it's a small conflict. It requires humanity to come together and have a conversation about it. It requires everyone to act as human, not like a monkey, not like a chicken trying to fight each other. It requires all of us to get together and try to understand what can we do. If a person has cancer, I don't think a normal person can do much, but they can go ahead and give love, give respect, say hello, send some flowers, to the person who is dying or is who is in pain of cancer. The Israel-Palestinian situation is like a cancer on this planet. The reason I say that is every time this conflict rises, the whole world starts to shake and it's on the brink of fighting. It's on the brink of destroying each other. Everybody becomes emotional. Everybody becomes angry. I am from Pakistan and for the last 15 years, I've been trying to understand this conflict and I have not been able to understand what is the problem. Why can't so many smart people in the world not just sit together and have a conversation? I will make a video sometime about how can we, how, what is my understanding of this conflict. But today I'm here to request my fellow human beings who are sitting on the internet, four billion of us try to conversate, try to have a conversation with around 16 million people living in Israel and Palestine. In Palestine, there are approximately 5.5 million human beings. In Israel, there are approximately 9 million human beings. Out of the 9 million human beings, 7 million human beings are following Judaism and other, Christ other religions like Christianity and 2 million human beings are following Islam. But they all three follow the exact same God, Allah, Alayahu, whatever you want to call it. We follow the same God, we follow the one God. We are all monotheistic religions. I don't know why we are fighting. I really don't know because I've been trying to understand this for 15 years. But there must be some reason for it. So I don't know who wins in this war. Because I see children on both sides dying. I see older people on both sides dying. I see young men both sides on both sides dying and being angry. And not able to have a conversation. Using hate, using words of hatred, using weapons to kill each other. Does it suit humanity when we are trying to reach for Mars? When recently India reached the moon? 
is it is it sanity that we 8 billion human beings 4 billion smart human beings sitting on the smartphones and the internet are unable to have a conversation with only 18 million human beings our fellow human beings can't we talk to them can't we ask them what is exactly going on can't we become the bridge makers between the two countries can't we try to communicate with these people would they go and bomb us over facebook would they go and bomb us over twitter and linkedin or whatsapp can't we just pick up the phone and try to find some number and randomly call someone and say hello how are you my name is so and so and i would like to just show my empathy and sympathy towards your country i would like to host you in my home come sit with me let's talk let's do some business together let's become friends with each other and try to see what happens and then go on the other side of the border and try to make another friend and then have them sit together on a zoom call can't we do this today can't we have a whatsapp conversation three way on a video once a week and have a cup of tea or kahwa or chai is it so hard to save our own planet from this small little conflict i say it's small because honestly speaking it's really small look at what we have become human kind has the power of everything in our hands now we have ai which can tell us everything we have we have devices which can connect us all across the planet we have power to have a conversation with each other but why can't we talk to each other why can't we find the courage to talk to each other instead of killing each other why are we constantly killing each other instead of trying to talk why are our leaders not asking us telling us forcing us to have a conversation across our borders across our countries to say let's talk it out when two children are crying screaming do the adults give them weapons in their hands do the adults sit them together and say let's let's sit together and let's find a way out let's try to listen out what's happening or do they give them stones to sit or kill each other give them more arms to kill each other is this humanity is this humane is this what human kind has become in the last 5000 years we have not learned anything from our past are we going to keep on conflicting each other and killing each other based on what what ideologies do muslims and jews actually have difference what differences do we have a muslim can eat kosher a, a food very easily a muslim can marry a jew what difference do we have really we don't we have a lot of ego in between <laughs> like small little children not really much different are we than small little children who don't want to talk to each other because he looked at me like this how dare he looked at me like this oh he threw a stone at me i will throw a bomb at him why are we killing each other why can't we sit down and talk both sides have destroyed their parents their children their wives their husbands their sons i have facebook friends from both sides and i can't take any sides anymore because every time i make a post about something the other person is so angry so upset so emotional that they can't listen even to the conversation i'm trying to make they're just so angry and who is making them angry the media the leaders the politicians who when are we going to start to have a conversation why can't we have a conversation with each other how hard is it to actually have a conversation with each other how hard is it is it easier to throw a bomb at somebody's son or mother or child or is it or destroying the whole building or send a rocket across the border why can't you send rockets of flowers and conversation across social media on both sides why can't millions of people have a conversation about this instead of talking about each other why can't we have a conversation with each other when will that time come when are we going to wait for the third world war to start by people taking sides of stupidity 
Isn't this stupid that we can't have a conversation with each other? What is stupidity then? I have no understanding of what is stupidity if this is not a stupidity. This is the stupidest thing I have ever seen that children are dying on both sides for absolutely pathetic reason of not having a conversation. Yes, you can get angry at me or other person, but end of the day you're going to just going to kill more human beings. You're just going to keep on killing each other and act like 2000 year old stupidity full of stupidity end of the day we have to talk no matter how many people you can kill 1 million here 1 million there end of the day you become united you states or european union or some other united something i just don't have words i am out of words to see this pain on both sides I don't even want to repeat them because they're so painful just to see smart really smart people really really smart people talking stupidity about the other party just because your mother had pain you're going to go and kill other person's other person's mother forgiveness is where it will start we have to forgive each other that yes the past is gone the future is here it might be dodgy but we can make it happen we can make it work i request all the humanity whoever is watching whoever is watching maybe it's just one human being maybe it's just you nobody might watch this video when i was making this video i have been so sad watching all this for the whole week because i have friends on both sides and i've been really sad because you know no matter how hard i try it feels like hopeless because nobody really listens nobody really acts humanity is a weird creature weird we, we don't act we just talk about shit but we don't really act upon it we need to get our shit together and actually have a conversation nobody nobody can proceed humanity cannot proceed till we actually have difficult conversations like what i'm having right now with you and Palestinians and Israelis have to have a conversation Ukrainians and Russians have to have a conversation and not not let our leaders make a fool out of our humanity this is not humane that we are we are spending 2000 billion dollars a year 2000 billion dollars a year is spent on army every single year by human kind that's approximately 80 dollars a year from all of us 8 billion people together or maybe a little bit more so i beg of you maybe just you maybe just it's just you i'm just talking to you nobody else just one person please go on your facebook search people in israel search people in palestine and send a hello how are you my name is so and so and i just wanted to be a hearing to be a ear to listen to your pain both sides are in pain both sides are in pain every side is in is in pain because they believe uh in something little very little tiny like you know differences which we have i think humanity is on the verge of becoming something phenomenal with so much technology in our hand we have we just have to give it a little bit more time to finally understand each other you know with the universal translators coming with all this super amazing knowledge and information on the palm of our hands coming i really think we can change the world but it starts with you i request you again to go on linkedin search for people in palestine search for people in israel and say hello to them let's make them stop let's force them to stop when a person is drunk we can't really do anything for them when a person is angry it's the same situation right now every side is being angry watching all this roller coaster of images from both sides we don't even know if they're real please please learn to forgive and forget and let's proceed for a better humanity all of us if you hate me please share this video and if you like it 
please share this video so that we can send this small little message of hello i love you i respect you i'm a, i'm here to listen you out i'm here to hear you out let's try to do this at least i'm trying i know you're not listening i know you don't want to do this i know it's hard but i'm still trying and i'll keep on trying to build bridges as as long as i can thank you for listening